Did you see the last Purge? It, it made me think of the last no, Purge. No, I don't like those Purge movies. Yeah. No, how come? No, why? Because I get prepared. <laughs> when, Bro, when I see Purge movies, I start loading magazines. I feel like I feel like we're close to it. We could be close to it. Yeah. I didn't, I never felt that until the George Floyd riots. When really? the George Floyd, yeah, the George Floyd riots. Got, here's the thing about riots. This is my feeling. Okay. I support your right to protest, Correct. but I'm not going to one of those. You know Correct. why? Because I think protests are a lot like war. I think there's a, a mode inside the human brain. Let me explain to you. you. You ever catch a fish? You know when you catch a fish? The moment that fish is on the line, your whole body gets excited. Like, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. That is an ancient thing that is in us because it used to be that was survival. survival if you caught mode. that fish, your family was going to have food. Yeah. That's, what, that's why you get so excited. Wow. I think when people are on the ground marching and they're all together and they're all chanting, that brings war. Yeah. <laughs> it, oh, it, bring, it, it excites that feeling just yeah. the way catching a fish excites that feeling. Yeah. I think it excites that feeling of war. Yeah. And when you, you, when you like, no more Trump, yeah. no more Trump, whatever the it is, fucking Black Lives talks. Matter, whatever it is, yeah. you're looking for someone to say it doesn't matter. You're yeah. looking for someone. Right. It's not just a protest. You're, you are stimulating. <laughs> <laughs> those thoughts of war you're marching on the ground with your fellow soldiers yeah. they even call each other comrades yeah. there's a lot of wild shit that's involved in protest yeah. that excites people in a very dangerous way yeah no yeah definitely i agree mob man. mentality that's what mob mentality is yeah the re you know people always talk about mob mentality like if there's something happens there's a mob of people people will do wild shit that they will never do normally yeah. because that excites the war gene there's a war gene inside of us because every human being has survived war. If you're alive today, that means your genetics survive war. That means somewhere down the line, whether it's bows and arrows or, or rifles or whatever, if you got to 2024, if your genes got to 2024, for sure, there's some war in those genes. Damn. Yeah. What the f yeah. Damn. That's why I, I will not go to protest. You see, if there's a protest, I'm getting the fuck out of there. Yeah, it's going to get wicked. Because it could get wicked. It Damn, might I not. never thought of how you said that, though. That's yeah. crazy. I like that. It's war. It's yeah. war is inside of us. And it, your body knows when you go to war, you have to switch gears. You have to switch gears, and that's where mom, that's where you beat someone to death with a rock in front of everybody. Mm. You would never do that. It was just you and that person. There's something about that experience of being around a lot of people that are all being hostile and all excited together that just fires up parts of people. And also, you feel kind of like a badass because you're a part of a gang. Yeah, you know? I, th I think it, I think it's a uh, comfort in knowing that it's, there's a bunch of you, like mm -hmm. knowing you like you can't lose. Which is also like war. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Dude, I just want to love. Yeah, well, that's a better way to live, yeah, for sure. But you also have a lot now. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. Once you have a lot, you're like, you know what? I just want to love. But when you don't have a lot, and you're like, all oh, these motherfuckers have a it's lot. It's hard to love. Shit. Yeah, it's hard. It's yeah. hard to be comfortable. I do definitely agree because, like, I feel like it was harder to be. Like, I feel like then, like before, I was you know chilling and blessed. Man, bro, like my anger was so horrible. Like I remember, I'd get done being angry, and when I would be done, like I'd be like, all I, I just want to sleep. Mm. Like, like don't even out. talk. Yeah, like, fuck, I just want to sleep. I would feel like I got jumped. Like, I just strained my body. You know what I'm saying? Just being angry. And for no reason? For, like, bro, for the simplest shit, bro. Anything. Like, the wind blew the wrong way, and I'd be like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what it was. It's, a pen it's probably pent-up childhood shit. It def I feel like it definitely was. But, yeah. you know, like you said, you know, it's it's easier to to love when you have a lot of it yeah when things are going great for you it's easier to love it's easier to also recognize that you want to kind of like you've experienced bad and now you're experiencing all this good and you want to kind of keep that rolling yeah correct it makes you want to do good you yeah. know what I'm or at least me personally because i know you do you know because energy's real you know i don't want to say karma or nothing but like man you know you be a whole ass monk some whole ass shit's yeah. eventually gonna catch up to you, <laughs> you <laughs> yes know what I'm saying? that's right. a great way to put it right yeah, yeah. so yeah. once you put that on a t-shirt